What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to She-Hulk Season 1 Episode 9, which is the finale. Um, not expecting to see Daredevil again, but I'm not, you know, I'm focused on that right now. I want to see how this season is going to actually wrap up with the main She-Hulk storyline, even though I haven't been really been liking this season all that much. I'm hoping there's going to be some sort of a good way to wrap this up, hopefully with this, uh, this, this group that's trying to steal her blood. I'm assuming that's going to be the main focus, so... Let's just jump right into it. Let's see what this episode is all about. If you want to see a full uncut reaction, that'll be my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The hell is this? This is like an homage to like the old Hulk show from like the... I forget when that show was out, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> She's in jail? Did you manage to get hold of Bruce? We left multiple messages. I managed to oh, hopefully we can see Hulk back in this episode. This was a targeted attack. They need to be held responsible for this. They baited you and you took the bait. I was angry, which is how anyone would respond in that situation. But you're not just anyone. You are an out of control Hulk. That is true. I've been looking into the platform and it is owned by several shell companies that are operating outside of US jurisdiction, which like, how am I supposed to sue these guys if I don't know who they are? Okay, look, Intelligentsia is made up of exclusively dumb dudes. One of these guys is gonna slip up and they're gonna give us enough information so that we can track them down and then we will find them and we will destroy them. Also, I thought you might get a kick out of this video that Jen and her friends no. made in Los Angeles. No, my mission, I'd like to see this. No, no, no. <laughs> this isn't even a reluctant superhero story. I'm just getting screwed over. <laughs> Jennifer Walters is a woman at a new low. She has no what the fuck? He's AWOL. Not delivered yet, because he's on like another planet. I'm assuming. He was somewhere in space. Found this vid of she -Hulk in what is she doing? Oh, she's trying to... Okay, I see. She's trying to be kind of a spy. That's actually smart. Yeah, that makes sense. That's how you can get information. Just pretend to be one of them. You're coming in real choppy. Don't pretend like you can't hear me. No, perception it sucks. Is she as strong as him? Is she as smart as him? No, she wouldn't even have her powers without him. Oh, is that why this guy went on that date with her? Just because he's part of this? He cost a ton, so you better cheer. Give it up for the abomination! Really? Oh. It's really an honor to be your humble life coach for the evening. Yeah. I hear your group has all been making amazing progress. So is he aware of what's going on there? I don't even know. It, it doesn't even sound like he knows exactly what's going on there. Oh shit, oh it's right there? Oh. I didn't realize it was in the same gen... Oh no, he is aware of what's going on. I didn't realize it was like right in his backyard. This is his lodge. I didn't even realize that. Sorry that you're upset. Was there a real apology in there somewhere that I missed? <laughs> we need to get out of here. You think the sex tape was the worst part? Well, I hired him to seduce you and steal your blood. Oh. But what do they do with the blood? That's my question. So it could safely give me all the powers you never should have been given. Oh, this fucker has the powers? Oh. I mean, most superheroes in this universe don't really earn them. They gotta just get them. <laughs> now they have to earn the way they use it, I guess, is the difference. Oh, God. What the fuck? Ew. He looks so weird. What the fuck is she here for? What? <laughs> okay. Where did he come from? Was it? I have a little rematch. That's kind of cool. What the fuck? What the hell is happening? What the fuck is happening? Marvelous That'll do. Wait, where is she in? 
All right, this is some other type of fourth wall break that I was not expecting. Is she going in the universe? Like our universe? I, I think she literally went into our universe. Or she went to the Marvel Assembled universe. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's production on the show. Isn't she supposed to have an inhibitor? Wouldn't she be fucking terrified that she's actually in your world? Because it's supposed to be like our world. <laughs> the bad guy steals my blood in order to give himself superpowers. Where did you come up with that original idea? Was that from every other superhero story ever? I think it was interesting. This is the story that Kevin wants. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then I want to talk to Kevin. Kevin Feige? Don't tell me Kevin Feige's gonna actually show up in this. I wonder if this is actually the writer writing team for this show. That'd be really cool if it was, but I doubt it. She-Hulk. I'm here to see Kevin. It's urgent. Why is no one like freaked out that she's actually in this like I don't think she's supposed to be here. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I wonder how much of this is actually real. Oh, Kevin Foggy's a fucking robot in this? Oh, let's say in our universe then. But you must first transform back to Jennifer. Why? You are very expensive. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh my god. That's kind of funny. <laughs> This is this is the only episode of the series I thought was actually kind of has a lot of good comedy to it so far. But it's all that like meta humor type stuff, which works. Kevin, I'm not happy with what's happening in my story. You do not get to choose. Why not? It's my show. Well, regardless Technically, it's the directors and writers. They they create it, and it's only sometimes where the actors get that much say in the story. What is the ending you propose? Well, can we not do Todd gets Hulk powers? Like, the powers aren't the villain. He is. Yeah, but the powers make him more dangerous, though. So. <laughs> uh -uh. But Bruce is supposed to return to explain what he was no, doing. No, 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 we don't need to hear any of that. But we were going to introduce... Uh, save it for the movie. Yeah, they're going to be doing a uh, movie. Are we done here? Oh, would not mind seeing Daredevil again. A woman has needs. Historically, we've been light in that department. Oh, while well, I've got you here? Oh, wait, you are sitting? What's with all the daddy issues? We got Tony Stark, daddy issues. Jen. Thor, daddy issues. Star-Lord, two daddies, two issues. Jen, please stop. Oh, and when are we getting the X-Men? I cannot tell you that. Okay, that's <laughs> I do have some... Now I'm ready to deal with you. <laughs> wait, but they kind of skipped everything. <laughs> but was her idea of a climax to just skip everything? <laughs> the police just show up and everything? Awesome. Great idea, Jen, great idea. Oh, they actually did have Daredevil show up. Hey, Daredevil. What the fuck? It literally right. came from the sky. Oh, man. It was great, though. Luckily, like, they make fun of the idea of cameos, but they still did it anyways. <laughs> so that's the ir irony of it. Like, they still did it anyways. <laughs> I have someone here that I'd like you all to meet. This is my son, Scar. What? Huh? I mean, I haven't read his comics, so I don't know if that's a thing or not, but that's... Okay. Emil, my apologies for the delay. Yeah. You think you it's gonna shot, have... We're really in an era of peak TV. Did he just say peak TV? How often does he go in with Wong? Is that a frequent thing? Okay, I don't see. I thought it was gonna have to be some... I thought it was gonna have something to do with the Thunderbolts. Which it still could. I, I still expect him to be in the Thunderbolts abomination, but I don't know. It's, it's possible he won't be. Um, that was good. I enjoyed that more than uh, definitely. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hold on. Um, that didn't really fix it at all. Whatever. <laughs> I enjoyed this more than most of this season. I definitely think this is probably the second best episode, next to episode eight being the best, obviously, but. I like the whole meta, meta humor thing. It was kind of funny here and there. Like, I enjoyed that stuff. It was really out there, really went for it type of thing. 
and I just don't like how they wrapped it up. Like the because she was trying to fix it and make like a better ending, but I think her ending was they skipped over whatever the ending she wanted anyways. They didn't really do much with it. So it was kind of just like a one of those anticlimactic endings. And that doesn't mean we needed a bunch of cameos, but we just needed something a little more satisfying. She didn't even get to have a conversation with Abomination there at the end like she wanted. Apparently she wanted to like him to understand, you know, like what he's done was wrong and stuff like that. We didn't even get a scene with that. So I don't know. A little bit rushed there, I felt like, but I thought that stuff was kind of cool. It was just cool seeing her talk about the show and Again, a lot of netty humor involving the show and how, um, you know, it's her show and she wants to be more about her rather than these other random formulaic Marvel things that they tend to do, which honestly, they're just been making fun of themselves a lot this series. Like they make fun of the idea of cameos. They make fun of a lot of different things that Marvel does tend to do. And um, but it's funny because they still end up doing it anyways. So it's kind of ironic in that way. Um, but I, I, I thought this was a good ending. OK, you know, I there's a big part of the show where I wasn't into it. And I do feel like majority of this series should have been focused on this storyline rather than all these little storylines here and there, because there was a lot of story arcs in this season that just were worthless and pointless to the story. And I know that's kind of how sitcoms sometimes go. Sometimes there's storylines where they don't really have a big purpose to them. They're just kind of there for humor, but I never felt like any of them were that funny. So I always felt like I was just wasting my time with a lot of the episodes. There's only a couple episodes where I really felt like there was a, point to it and i actually felt like yeah that that was a episode that actually affected her character or it affected another character or developed some sort of overarching plot for the story that's to me probably one of the bigger problems with this show but there was a lot of good things here and there as well so i'm not going to act like it's the end of the world just because it wasn't the exact show for me because it wasn't i'll be honest but I'm sure a lot of people could have gotten a lot out of it, and that's fine. If you found a lot of the stuff to be funny, that's fine. If you didn't as well, then that's fine too. It's really just up to your personal opinion. I stuck through it because I knew there was probably going to be some more interesting stuff towards the end of the season, and I was right. This episode definitely was worth watching. Definitely seems like it's building up some sort of a Hulk movie, I'm assuming, that will probably come later in Phase 6 or 7 or something. And... I'm excited to see that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you all in my next one. Peace out.